This video will explore the topic, simplifying trigonometric expressions. It is common to get overwhelmed with this topic, but just remember that we will be employing the same techniques as when we simplify algebraic expressions. Here are all the trigonometric identities that we will be using to simplify the expressions covered in this video. Let's do an example so you can see how to go about this. This example is asking us to simplify cosine of x tangent squared of x plus cosine of x. Recalling the operations you used when simplifying algebraic expressions, do you know what the first step to simplifying this expression would be? This expression has two terms, and both terms contain cosine of x, so I think the first step is to factor out cosine of x. You are correct. We factor cosine of x from each term to get cosine of x times tangent squared of x plus 1. Do you know what to do next? This is where I get stuck, so I'm really not sure what to do next. That's okay. Why don't you examine the trigonometric identities that we presented earlier and see if there are any substitutions that you can perform. I'll give you a hint. Look at the Pythagorean identities. Can we substitute secant squared of x for tangent squared of x plus 1? Yes, exactly. Substituting secant squared of x for tangent squared of x plus 1, we write cosine of x times secant squared of x. Okay, so now we can substitute 1 over secant of x for cosine of x. Exactly. Last, we can cancel out one of the secant of x terms from the numerator with the secant of x terms in the denominator and write our answer as secant of x. This is in its most simplified form.